today I'm gonna try to make my own copperas. Uh, just because I I suspect the Amazon, uh, the ones that I sell on Amazon, it's not like uh, pure. Uh, it's not intended for uh, lab use, you know, it's intended for other uses. So I'm gonna try to make my own uh, for precipitating gold. It's very good to work with uh, copperas or iron sulfate. So what I'm doing here, I'm putting water. I'm gonna make like two liters or, or so. And then I will add sulfuric acid. I'm, to, I'm trying to get here uh, 10 to 10 to 1 uh, dilute uh, dilute sulfuric acid. So, let's see what happens. So there'll be So I'm using a tall beaker just because of reaction and I'll let it start the reaction and once this, the reaction are done they'll be taking like maybe two hours, three hours, I don't know and then I'll put on a heat, I'll bring to heat to finish using all the acid. So this is the solution uh, starting to react, this attacking the metals I put in there, those metals are made of uh, transformers that I broke uh, in to get the copper and then I put I set aside these metals so this metal is a uh, iron and it should not have any like plating or any any sort of uh, it should be just iron and uh, that's a uh, dilute uh, sulfuric acid the solution and also the reaction is there I'm gonna let it be for until the reaction is done and then maybe I'll put into heat and that's my plan as up to now so this is night now uh, what I did here I had a little bit more water and a few mls mls of uh, sulfuric acid and put on the heat looks like it's going faster now so I wanna, I wanna get it done with. So I'm gonna keep it until the reaction stops. So when the reaction stops, I'm gonna filter this, and tomorrow, hopefully, we're gonna get some uh, sulfate, uh, uh, iron sulfate crystals, and then that's it. Yeah, looks like it's going faster now. A uh, little bit of heat, a little bit of more water, more acid, and it's going nice and strong. Very strong reaction. It's definitely going faster now. So now I'm just gonna turn the heat down. The solution looks very saturated now. I think those uh, bubbles are just from boiling. It's not from acid reaction. So I will turn the, I'll just let the temperature go down a little more and then I'll filter it and wait until tomorrow and see if I get any crystals or not. So basically what happened here before filtration, I added water, 
end up adding water to make the filtration quicker. But in the other hand, I found out I find out that if I add water, it won't make crystals. So I only got this amount of crystals. So I'm trying to decant a little more and see if I can get more crystals. So that's what I'm, what I'm doing right now. So I finally got some crystals. It took me uh, two attempts because my first attempt I had uh, I had to add water for filtration. So I didn't get uh, crystals because the solution was too much too too hydrated, a lot of water. So I had to put on the beakers back on the stove and. Uh, and uh, decant the water, boil and decant some water to make the solution fake. And then I put this on the freezer, on the fridge, I mean. And then I got some crystals. Uh, it looks nice. So right now I'm just gonna uh, put it upside down here somehow. And uh, let, it, let it drain for It's still a little bit damp, but I will put a, a paper towel here, close, and then close, and then put it upside down to dry a little more. But I don't want to leave this open so I don't get, uh, or else it's gonna get uh, brown. It's gonna go to the brownish color. Color, it's not that good when it's on that color. This is time for precipitation using copperas.